I never know how people hold like 55 products in each hand. I'm like struggling with three. Wow! Hello everyone and welcome to a drugstore themed video. Today is my current top makeup drugstore favourites, but that was kind of a bit of a gym jam mishmash, but you guys can put it all together and you know what I mean. It is in collaboration with my lovely friend Kathleen here on YouTube. Her YouTube username is Kathleen Lights and she does the most incredible tutorials like out of this world snoky eyes she's so gorgeous she's really cute she does really chatty videos and makeup tutorials as well so i'll leave her channel link below as well as she's also doing this video so i'll leave the link to that video below you guys have to go and subscribe to her but without further ado i'm going to tell you about my current makeup favorites I'm not going to leave you hanging here and I'm going to tell you first and foremost what is on my lips. These are new from Rimmel, they're their Rimmel Apocalypse and they claim to last 16 hours on the lips. Now I can't say that they last 16 hours but they will last through water, a burger, the whole day, like whatever you're doing and I'm actually pretty surprised how long they last on my lips. They're definitely the longest lasting, least drying lipstick I own. I actually was trying to get out a really tight top the other day and it got stuck. Does anyone have that when a tight top gets stuck on your head and you kind of need someone to pull it off? I had my sister pull this top off for me and I was like, oh god, my red lipstick's gonna get all over this top. And she pulled it off and red lipstick wasn't anywhere. So that is the true test for how long these last. How kind of like locked in they are to your lips. I am wearing the shade Kiss Me You Fool, which is a really gorgeous red, as you can see. It's a really opaque liquid lipstick that you apply first and then on the other side you have the kind of like gooey bulb that makes it a bit more matte and that is where the staying power comes from. I am always on the hunt for a great concealer and one that I've really been liking is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Concealer. It does have a bit of a glow factor to it. The formula and the coverage of this is really light but it just adds a great illuminating step to the skin especially if your skin's feeling really sallow, you haven't had much sleep, you're a little bit tired. It just kind of illuminates everything, brightens everything up in one step. I just mentioned this in my favorites video and this is the L'Oreal Blau Blau. I can never say this product without getting the name wrong. L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. It's a bit like the Benefit Gimme Brow in the way that you have the little wand that has a kind of mix of gel and color in it. So you get that gel hold so that your brows never go anywhere, they stay in put, but then you also have a hint of color as well. So if you're a bit of a lazy brow person like I am, a little sweep through your brows with this does a really good job of adding a hint of color and keeping the hairs in place. These are from Gosh, and I have two shades from them. I have Flower Power and Rose Whisper. Flower Power is a really beautiful pink and Rose Whisper is a kind of warm brownie taupe color. They're both the perfect amount of pigmentation that you can just apply them really quickly. They're not overly pigmented that you end up looking like a clown but that you don't need to build them up at all. They're both matte so they look really natural on the skin. They're a perfect kind of no makeup makeup kind of blush. And if you're my skin but fairer the shade Rose Whisper is a great one to contour with as well. Speaking of contour I have a great alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow which I adore. This is from Kiko and it is their Golden Game Sculpting Bronzer. I just love the packaging of this. I think it's really luxurious, especially considering this is under £10. You have the contour or bronzer shade here, which is a great in-between color. It's one of my favorite kind of bronzer shades because it's not muddy looking, but it still adds a nice bit of warmth. And then you have the golden highlight shade as well. And there's just a gorgeous embossing on the product too, which makes it more luxurious to use. So I have a couple of things for the girls that like a bit of glow. The first one is a primer. This is the All Over Glow from Topshop. It's around £10 and it's really similar to a By Terry product I have that is around £80. <laughs> There's a big price difference here. It's a warm bronze golden colour and it instantly like perks up dull skin. It shines through foundation really beautifully but without making you look sweaty or greasy. It just comes in this little tube here. I normally just take a dollop on my skin, like dot it around my face and then blend it in with my fingers. Or if I find my foundation shade is too pale for me, not right now or anything, but in the summer months, I tend to mix a bit of this with my foundation. Uh, right, I have a NARS dupe to show you. Now this is the NARS Multiple in Copacabana. And you can see it's well loved. It's kind of like molding to the sides here. I'm not really sure what it's doing. It's a cream highlighter. You kind of like dab it on the tops of your cheekbones. And because it's cream, it just adds a much more natural kind of glow than a powder would. Also, by the way, a side note on creams, I always thought they would kind of like seep into my 
pores and make them look really visible, but this one doesn't at all. But if you're looking for something like this and you don't want to spend, I think, around £30, I have a great alternative. This is also from Topshop. I like Topshop's glowy products. This is also called Glow and it is their Golden Glow Pot. It's a liquid highlighter you kind of dab your fingers in, dab it on the tops of your cheekbones. A new brand that I spotted in Superdrug recently that is called... B, is that it? I think it's just B. Just the letter B. These are the stunning vibrant eye shimmer. They're basically like cream eyeshadows. They're super easy to apply. I just take a bit on my finger, dab it on my eyelid. It doesn't really need that much blending out. Your fingers kind of like do the job for you and it just kind of blends itself really. The colors aren't anything too pigmented at all. They just leave a nice wash over the lid. They're really kind of like lazy day eye product. I've been raving about this powder for a while but it is just my favorite drugstore powder. I think it puts even some of my like more luxury powders to shame. It is amazing. When I get really overexcited about a product, I'm always like, amazing. <laughs> oh God, need to tone it down. This is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. It does a great job for those of you like me who have an oily T-zone but don't like to look too flat or matte. It just takes the shine down a level but still leaves you looking luminous and glowing like you've had a bit of extra sleep. I always like to keep this in my handbag as a touch-up because it's really small. It's not very heavy either. Sometimes I find when I reapply powder, they tend to kind of like separate on my skin but the more I reapply this I've never found it to separate it actually does a really good job kind of like all bonding and meshing well together lastly we have another dupe this is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and pillow talk and I have been obsessed with this recently it's from Rimmel it's a gorgeous nudie pink color it just looks so beautiful on the lips it lasts absolutely ages it does leave a little bit of a matte finish but it doesn't dry out my lips and it just gives a really plump your lips but better color Kind of look. So those are my top 10 current drugstore makeup favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to check out Kathleen's version as well which I will link in the information box below as well as her channel link and you guys have to go and subscribe to her because she makes the most amazing beauty videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to do a tutorial with these drugstore products or more drugstore videos in future. I would love to know your current favorite drugstore pick. What is it right now? Let me know in the comments. I'm awaiting to run to Boots and Superdrug and I'm actually gonna be in New York next week. So any kind of drugstore makeup picks that you like, let me know and I am very excited to read your comments. I'll leave my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all those kind of social media links as well as my blog link in the information box below. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video.